lights are working on the system. Uh, we had a power outage too, but we're tracking. Don't tell me you're tracking. I don't have a sound and I don't have a light. Could you show me the lights? So they're having a, a Hawkeye power outage, which is a problem because that's how they call the lines. So until that gets resolved, we're not playing. I'm not getting any lights. Well, Maria Chichak would call the lines. I would one, trust one. her with that. It's a pretty good umpire, but still. She might be the best umpire, but that's a lot of lines to cover. We used to do that in juniors when you had to up there. get the umpire. Yulia. So. Yeah, you're not gonna get a light, are you? So we're not playing till I get the light or a sound. So at the moment, as you can see at the back, we lost the power and we lost the lights and the sound. So we can't continue. Why did we play two points? We did. We had it. We had it, but then it just went down. So because when I went to announce the score, we couldn't. Uh, I couldn't say. So we stop till they actually fix it. Till we get one off. I prefer to have lights, then I can call it. Lights are the thing that I have up there. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I wish I could say. So, sorry. Anything for me? Thank you. Yeah, everything's connected, so there's no sound, no... Uh... Uh, we are pausing play on center because we have no sound and no lights. So just to clarify to what Maria Chichak is talking about, that there's no sound and there's no lights, you hear the audible sound, the out call when Hawkeye makes an electronic line call. Mm -hmm. The chair umpire also sees a light display on her handheld that indicates whether the ball is in or out. So if they have one or the other, they can play, but right now they have neither. Sure, no worries. Uh, I pause the match and uh, that's that's okay. Can we bring in some lights, so, people? Pause, <laughs> if you want. Get some chairs to from or to team or I'm not gonna we're not gonna start till things are fixed. All right. I don't wanna play. <laughs> Technology is wonderful until Aurelia, it's not treat this as a pause if you wanna talk to uh, to a coach, that's fine, All right? Well, that's the risk of not having lines people on hand when the the system breaks down, you gotta wait. So the players are gonna be allowed to talk to their teams. I promise you, the uh, IT guys are oh, all yeah, over this yeah. behind the scenes, and uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Yeah. 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 And so we were eavesdropping on Maria Chichak and so she was saying that the lights the moment, are starting to come back. Off. We do have a lights for the system, but everything else is off. As you can see, the half of the scope, but they can't even put it up yet. So I wouldn't push it unless you two are both happy to play. I, I wouldn't push it. Because then you can get a lot of other distractions when actually system comes up. You know, we don't even know if the blast through the mi microphone, the speakers is going to come or something. You know, I don't know. So. I can't guarantee anything. I was, I was always trying to find calling working and the power is off and the cameras are working but the power is off. They have they have a generator. They have backup system for them for themselves, but we still depend on the power on the site. But now they can run through their regenerators. If it would be smaller port we could continue easily play. But this if you can't hear me calling out if if you girls feel comfortable playing, I'm happy to play. I'm gonna call it without the microphone. But, but then, then it's gonna be like this, out? huh? I can call out because I have lights when it's out, actually. But 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 then I can't cr make crowd announcements for them to be quiet. They don't know what's happening. So uh, if I would hold for two extra minutes to get everything back. So Yulia, as I said to to Vika, there we actually have a lights back. System is back, but the rest of the power is out. So I. Uh, I can't make any announcements. I can call out, but then crowd is going to be fairly noisy. So I can't control them because they can't hear me. So I rather wait for another two or three minutes to get everything back because I don't want that blast through a microphone if they all of a sudden release it, you know? So two, three minutes maybe. All right? Okay. Sure. Just give me, give me these balls. Look, Vika, if you girls want to hit, 
So uh, that's okay as well. Maria Chichak is is really good at explaining things, and she just yeah. explained it about as Can well as as we could. The, the lights in her handheld device are back on, so she would be able to call balls out by seeing those lights right there on her display. But she has no means to communicate it to the crowd or to the players other than by yelling because her microphone is not working. And so she's worried about keeping the crowd under control and keeping everybody in the loop. So she wants to wait a little bit longer. The good news is this is only affecting stadium. They're still to those guys are wrapped. We continue to be uh, powerless here. One more use ball. We're getting sound back, I think. We do have the humans if and when, so we've got something right on the microphone over there. Hang on, I need, yeah, but I need one more. Uh, is this sound? Because I've heard sound, no? All right, so Maria Chichak is doing her best to manage this situation. It is uh, fluid, to say the least. Our power keeps going on and off as well. Players are going to try to stay warm with some practice balls. We'll step aside, try to iron this thing out. Hard Rock Stadium has become Hard Luck Stadium. Back live in Miami, the... Uh, they're working the problem. We're uh, eavesdropping on Andrew Krasny and Carolyn Kramer and Maria Chichak, and they're saying uh, the problem has been identified. They're working on resolving it, and, and it should be about 10 minutes, according to them, until uh, the issue's worked out. We would show you uh, other tennis around the grounds, but there isn't any as we're uh, down to the 16s on the men's side, the quarters on the women's side, so singles on two courts only at this point in the tournament so the best we can do is get all of our commercials out of the way and come back with live tennis as soon as it is available well these are the scenes right now at the at the miami open bit of a power outage on stadium court but um play should resume in about five minutes Yulia putin seva is taking on Victoria Azarenka, the 2016 champ, on stadium court. Early goings, first set, just a few games into the match. So they will resume shortly. Good news is, weather is not threatening. The sun is shining beautifully out here. And we'll have continuous play for the rest of the day. Beautiful look there at the Hard Rock Stadium. Packed house all over the grounds. We're still waiting for Yannick Sinner who is making his way over to Grandstand, the number two seed who has been having a fantastic year. He's only had one loss thus far to Carlos Alcaraz and Indian Wells. He's, of course, our Australian Open and Rotterdam champ. He'll be taking on the Australian, Christopher O'Connell. Quarterfinal, Miami Open, uh, interrupted by a power outage. Quick update here. Uh, Putin Seva is playing as a ranker right now in the quarterfinal. Of course, three other matches will take place today and tomorrow to see who wins this Miami Open. Let's see if we can go through them in my head. Um, uh, of course, Fiontek lost. Um, so Daniel Collins, Jessica Bugula is still in it, Navarro is still in it, and obviously Alexandrova is still in it, and then Caroline Garcia is still in it. So I think it's all those players, um, and of course, Sakari is playing Rabakina. So there you go. There are all the players still in the Miami Open, but um, power outage interrupting Miami Open. Man, there's just something new every freaking tournament i swear in tennis um uh venus williams played in the miami, miami open uh earlier this week it was round one and um a cat ran onto the court i don't know if you saw this but uh so we got cats we have power outages um we have uh i think that's the two major weird things that happen in this tournament but uh, of course, it would happen to Putin Seva, who is kind of the Nick Kyrgios right now of tennis. Uh, and apparently she's been so for a long time. She does have a, a very interesting character on court. And um, even she was playing, uh, Putin Seva was playing yesterday and she threw her racket into the net, uh, just flicked it basically across the court. Uh, didn't go over the net, but uh, went into the net and she was winning 4-2. Uh, so... Uh, she's got a little bit of a temper and uh, uh, kind of keeps us on our toes. Doesn't, we never know what she's going to do on court. But uh, they're playing right now in the second set. Putin, Seca, Putin Seva and Azarenka. I have no idea who's going to win this match. Putin Seva, Putin Seva actually playing very well uh, in this one. It'll be interesting to see if she can get to the semis. 
Um, and then uh, later tonight, we have a, a f water mouth-watering match between Robachana and um, Sak Sakari. And Sakari is playing very well. Sakari's had a lot of rest. Uh, I think Sakari's uh, last match didn't even take place. Uh, it was a walkover. So um, a lot of interesting stuff happening. I'm very excited to see. Uh, if I had to pick between Sakari and Robachana later tonight, I would take on who I think is going to win. Um, I'm going to take Sakari 7-5-6-4. So a long, relatively long match score that I'm taking there. But we'll see what FanDuel says, uh, which is a, a big deal here in the U.S. And uh, we'll see what everyone else thinks. Please, please put in the comments uh, what you think about uh, the matches. And, and of course, this one, uh, Putin Seva's the power outage. Uh, weird. Uh, but it looks like they got it under control. They're finally back on court and playing. And let's get back to the match. Best muscle video on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, there is a thanks button on the bottom right of the video player. I uh, just click on that word thanks on YouTube on your phone or on your computer, and you can send me money that way. Thank you so much for your support. And Putin Seva Azarenka playing right now. Let's get right back to it. <laughs> 